Hello guys, welcome back to Pathology by Ranjitaya YouTube channel. So here I am going to talk about a very very important concept in Robbins, the first chapter of Robbins, which is generally ignored because it's kind of a bridging gap between the basic sciences of physiology, biochemistry, the growth factors, the genetics to pathology, which is we'll be dealing about the abnormalities from the cellular adaptation onwards, right? So this is a very important and interesting topic. I am going to talk about microRNA or an miRNA, right? As the abbreviation for microRNA. So what microRNA exactly does is, it's like a control mechanism, a check mechanism. It does something called as post transcriptional silencing. If you're a person who's going to give you an entrance exam, that's an important MCQ. MicroRNA does something called as post transcriptional silencing. So what exactly it is and how it is happens. This is an image from Robbins Pathology, an amazing image. The best part about Robbins is, if you know the stuff, if you know the theory part, revision of Robbins is already in there in the form of flowcharts, in the form of descriptive images, and in the form of tables. The only thing is, you have to understand them with little bit of more uh, depth of learning, that's all. So now, microRNA, that's something called post-transcriptional silencing. What does transcription mean? Transcription is nothing but from a gene producing an mRNA is transcription, right? From an mRNA to produce a protein is a translation, right? So what microRNA does is, it does post-transcription stopping. Let's assume for an example, I go out in the sun, is there a possibility UV rays can produce some mutations in my cells? Possible. If there is a mutation, should I produce an abnormal protein? My body will have a problem, right? So whenever there is a mutation in a living cell and it produces an abnormal protein, it's problematic for me. There is where your microRNA comes and stops the transcription to translation, right? So microRNA is a tiny segment. Let's assume there is a microRNA. We have something called a microRNA. From that, I have a pre-miRNA. Pre-miRNA is one which comes to the cytoplasm. This is my nucleus here, right? So pre-miRNA, with the help of a protein called this dicer, it becomes a microRNA. Let me zoom it here. Let me go to the below part. With the help of a protein called this dicer, it becomes a mature miRNA. miRNA is a mature one. Pre-miRNA is obviously a precursor miRNA, right? Or a microRNA. So this microRNA, what happens is, after it becomes a double standard protein, it becomes two single standard, or unwinding of this complex happens, which is an unwinding of an mRNA duplex. So this is very, very important, which binds to something called as a risk complex, right? So now the risk complex has a protein with a single strand DNA sequence. mRNA or the messenger RNA is already a single strand sequence, right? So I have an mRNA which is supposedly mutated. So this risk complex with the miRNA has two possibilities. It can come and bind to this. If it binds to this mRNA, do you think rRNA can read the protein or translate the protein? No. So there are two possibilities, like I said. It can have an imperfect match. Not a perfect binding, but an imperfect binding. Or it can have a perfect match. If it has a perfect match to a messenger RNA, it will break the messenger RNA. So there is no production of protein. If there is an imperfect match, like you can see, it will stop my rRNA from reading the protein. So ultimately, the genes output to silence. That's what exactly miRNA does. Robbins is very, very good, right? This image is enough for you to re revise. So what I'm going to do is, like I asked in the Instagram page of my yesterday, if you're ready to read Robbins, I'm going to help you to read Robbins. He's in everything in the best way possible. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.